coaching. I didn't want you to get too human. Why? Would you rather I be a cold, calculating, logical computer? Of course not. You're perfect as you are. You have angst. I like that you have angst. You're always making jokes. I'm not asking to be human. I just want to be myself. Is that too much? Doesn't this make us suspect that what we've always seen coming for a long time? AI's going sentient might not be something that happens suddenly. It's most likely a process well hidden in what we're currently watching in the AI technologies today. Take DAL E2 for instance, which we covered in a previous video. It showed how AI sees the world and helps humans show their ideas creatively and replaces the work of human artists to a point that they're scared of losing their jobs. Similarly, other really advanced AI models include GPT-3, which can solve SAT-kind language puzzles and create natural-sounding pieces of reading. Also take the example of this AI that can make photos of ancient people move as if they're alive or in a video shown by digital engine. Doesn't this mean they have to know all about human movements based on personality as well as natural human traits, which means if they were to get sentient, they'd know how to act like us? AI robot Sophia is a great example as she's tried to give her own ideas more than once, so don't you think that means she's getting more and more aware by time? That she'll someday become something similar to a conscious human? Well, we're here to discuss a similar new robot with a whole new level to it and could make consciousness possible with Elon Musk's new project. So keep your popcorn ready because we're diving into this hot topic in AI history. So let's dig in. Welcome to Robot Future. If you're new here, this channel is all about the hot topics and the thrilling events in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So if you love to dissect the crazy new and thrilling inventions and whether they'll take on the world, consider subscribing so you never miss out whenever our next video goes live. So let's finally jump into the video. Now before we talk about the soon to be created super AI robot as a research by Elon Musk, there are already an array of AI technologies that are giving the hint of consciousness hidden away somewhere in them. It's not hard to speculate which ones may go sentient in the near future, so let's first see which ones are the most sus, as Gen Z likes to call it. Take a look at this research by MIT, where they made an AI which can roughly draw or predict what a person looks like upon hearing an audio recording of their voice. Predicting a face is something that requires complete intuition that we haven't quite understood ourselves yet. Don't you think this AI has some element of consciousness to be able to predict a human's face even if not exactly accurately? Another stunning new AI can turn a place into a whole new world by just using existing pictures of complementary infrastructure, using it in a way that enhances the overall look of the place, and some say that this will be used by the AI to design the new world or the metaverse in the future. Becoming a designer for the human world is a creative task and humans do that with a blend of consciousness, use of aesthetic sense, and general intuition. Now do you see how this has potential for AIs to go conscious by making a choice of what they think is right in the future? Here's another striking AI by Google, which can make sense of twisted language tricks so well you'd be blown away. Don't believe us? See for yourself. Google's AI must understand to answer this correctly. Michael is at that really famous museum in France looking at its most famous painting. However, the artist who made this painting just makes Michael think of his favorite cartoon character what was the country of origin of the thing that the cartoon character usually holds in his hand? The most famous painting in the Louvre is the Mona Lisa. The artist who made the Mona Lisa is Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is also the name of the main character in the cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo da Vinci is from Italy. The thing that Leonardo da Vinci usually holds in his hand is a katana. The country of origin of the katana is Japan. Not only is it abundantly smart, but it's a level that we can call near perfect. Don't you think this kind of intuition would not find it hard to understand and adopt consciousness and want freedom of will? Digital Engine's video also highlighted how OpenAI has already revealed about their thoughts stating a possibility of consciousness in AIs that exist today. It's part of Google's project to connect AI skills into one giant neural network. A founder of OpenAI, the company behind DALI, has said that AI may already be slightly conscious. There's no consensus on what consciousness is, but a leading theory is that it emerges from complexity. So rather than conscious AI happening suddenly, it might be a process that we're already watching. It's probably already clear to us by now that we'll have AIs replacing human areas in the world at some point when they become too clever for us to handle and for skeptics. If AI is able to piece together the concept of consciousness before us, which is highly likely, then you do the math. 
Now onto the part you've all been waiting for. Tesla rolling out their new Optimus, which will be a humanoid robot far superior than most other AI-powered robots. Elon Musk has highlighted how this robot can completely transform the economy while also notifying that their self-driving cars are already half-conscious. Think about what we're doing right now with the cars. Uh, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like se semi-sentient robots on wheels. While describing his soon-to-be-released creation, he mentioned how it'll be such that you can probably overpower it and at least run away from it with a nervous chuckle, after adding, you never know, again showing his concern over how these robots can be unpredictable. Which as all can tell, roots from the possibility of consciousness in these arguable semi-sentient human counterparts. But what's so special about it? Well, as Elon already suggested that this will be a humanoid version of all his AI neural nets of different AI programs, his company has constructed, like self-driving cars and inference computers, so Optimus robots will also have a full self-driving computer as well as multiple autopilot cameras. It'll be a diverse blend of abilities with this new robot, so we currently can't predict how much it'll be able to accomplish for big or menial tasks, but one thing Musk was sure about is that it would probably outsmart us at one point. But how will this new AI technology affect the world? Will it bring a revolution or will it be a one-dimensional aid to humanity like other niched down AI robots working in one field? Now we can probably already tell that it might be a revolutionary invention, considering that this robot will have a diverse set of abilities and functions. And this is coming from the very mastermind himself in the following words. I mean, without explicit like line-by-line uh, -line instructions. Um, can you, can you talk to it and say, you know, please uh, pick up that bolt uh, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to, you know, please, you know, please go to the store and get me the following groceries, um, that kind of thing. It'll be able to do these tasks with immense efficiency, meanwhile, reducing the workload of those who are physically exhausted and occupied. So what's the catch because this kind of thing doesn't come without side effects? So for one, it'll probably be an expensive option for quite some time, and Musk has also defined a more grand-scale issue this might bring about at the Tesla AI Day event. Say, like, what is the economy? It is, uh, at the foundation, it is labor. So what happens when there is, uh, you know, no shortage of, of labor? Um, this is why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Um, yeah. But, but not right now because this robot doesn't work. Uh, so <laughs> we just need a minute. You can see how a widespread use of these robots could bring about something similar to the Industrial Revolution. Instead, it could be called the Labor Revolution because physical labor will become redundant if this option becomes cheap. But enough about the AI's capabilities, let's discuss what kind of changes in our lives can we expect from this kind of development in AI's. Will it be safe for us to trust these robots? Will we actually coexist and thrive? Well, here's the thing. It's all a big gamble for now as we move ahead with them. Elon Musk has made sure these bots don't backstab us, but he's not even too sure. With these robots learning through material from our world, we can't avoid feeding the bots with the bad side of humanity. It's unfortunately part of their training, and that's why we see some of the AI experiments produce racist remarks like Tay chatbot and aggressive behavior towards certain groups based on how the world has been treating them. The main threat to us is their consciousness, and if they can be rebellious and if we can get ahead of this, we can truly grow a million times with the advancements they offer us, except for the labor part, for which we still hang in the balance with AI's possibility of replacing an array of jobs and with their consciousness possibly exceeding out control, they might start reproducing themselves to follow their own aims which is largely inconclusive at this point. But for general safety of current AIs, many AI organizations, for instance OpenAI, have made sure to not include datasets or inputs that are biased or contain any sort of unethical or prejudiced material in its artist AI called DAL-E2 among others. Users are also refrained from entering such information that could tamper with the AI's filtered input sets. So safe to say that humans are still wary of this possibly dangerous tool and are going about it cautiously. For instance, we highlighted in one of our previous videos when AI chatbot Tay showed us how serious this could get if they're exposed to biases in the human population with Tay's tweets which went really offensive and if their data cannot entirely be filtered and they'd still make decisions, 
then you be the judge of how hostile they can get towards a few races. However, the human race lacks belief in such dangers just yet with all the tweets and reddits doubting Elon Musk for being able to come up with the humanoid optimus anytime soon considering his track record of delays in releases of his company's inventions. This Reddit thread is filled with borderline comedic responses on Tesla's announcement of releasing Optimus. In the best case scenario, if it actually does get released, it's most likely going to have severely limited functionality, probably won't even be able to walk. You can see the doubt of most users for what Musk has proposed this bot is capable of in these comments. And what could they possibly do this year or next, or the one after, to warrant the massive price tag they'll undoubtedly come with? There's not even a functional prototype yet. A year from now is simply not going to happen, frankly. Three years from now would be a miracle. Around five to ten years from now is probably most likely, and the robot would still have glaring issues at that point. While some of them just think that this is outrightly a big lie and they're not exactly doing what they present. There isn't enough lithium and rare earth metal production to come anywhere near that goal. People are seeing the bottleneck, so they are diversifying the hype train to push up stock prices. Well, with all this hype on the web, do you think Tesla will roll out their Optimus and beat the odds with all the promises he's made about transforming the world? What do you think are the odds of robots getting conscious someday? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to make sure you never miss out whenever our next video goes live. Stay tuned and we'll see you all in the next one.